So now what we want to do is actually invite some of the students into our class. So there's several ways you can do this. I'm going to show you some of those ways. Let's click on students. And then what we want to do is click on invite. Now there are different options here. What you can do, you can click on my contacts. If you have anybody in your contacts list, they will appear here. Or you can go to the directory. And that will list everybody in the domain. So you can see all these training accounts that I have here. Equally, you could go to groups. And this will list all the groups that you are a member of that you can select. I'm going to show you how you can do it from your contacts because it gives you more control as a teacher. So what we need to do is go into our email. So let's go into our email and then choose contacts. Once we're in our contacts, we can start adding the contacts that we want for our groups. So I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call this class one and click OK. Now I have a group, I'm going to go into that group and I'm going to start adding students to that group. So let's click on add and I want to add the following students. So I've added eight students to my class and they are all in my group called class one. Now let's go back to my Google Classroom. Let's refresh this by doing this again. Invite. And now we can see all my contacts. So I can select my class one from here. And these are my contacts. I'm going to select all of these students and invite them. So now I have all of my students invited into my class. Now, they've been invited, but they need to accept that invitation. So we're going to go into and have a look at what the student sees in a second. Before so, I'm going to show you another way you can invite a student or you can get a student added to your classroom. Each classroom has a code. We can see this code here. So I'm going to go to another account and I'm going to join this class with this account. I've joined this account with all even number students. So let's go to another account. This is an odd number student, so I'm going to click on the plus and join the class. We need the class code, which is G0S1K5, and then we can join. Okay, that's taken us straight into our classroom. We can skip the tour for now. Now, if I go back to the teacher view, this is the teacher view, and refresh this view, I can see now at the bottom is our odd number student, which is Atagedu 3. And they are no longer invited, they are amongst the students. If I go back to the student now and look at classmates, I can see this is the only one in the class at the moment because the other students are still invited and have not accepted their invitation. So let's now look at what a student sees. So I've logged into Atec Edu 2 here. This is my student account and I'm going to go to Google Classroom. Now, because that student has been invited, they don't get the Google Classroom original screen. So what they can say is, now they can decline this or join it. So let's join it. Now as a student, I'm inside that classroom. I can click on classmates, and I can see here are the two classmates that are in my class. I'm logged in, I am one, and here's the other one. So as the other students, they accept their invitation, they will start appearing there. If I go back to the teacher's view, I can see now that Atec Edu 2 and Atec Edu 3 are both accepted into my classroom. So there are the ways that you can invite a student into your classroom. My suggestion is to use the contact manager within your email, and then you can manage your users effectively on your own.